If your gas grill has stopped working, there's a good chance it's because of a bad burner. For less than 20 bucks, you can have that grill fired up again in no time. Here's how to do it. Let's check that our fuel's off. We're already disconnected down below. We're gonna come in, we're gonna remove our grate and our flavorizer bar. Okay, so now we can see our burner. It's held in place by two pins. They're called cotter pins. There's one in the back here and one in the front. Pull each of those out. They usually come out pretty easily. You could use needle nose pliers if they're, if they're sticking. So once our pins are out, uh, there's this uh, bracket here. I just need to lift that off. Uh, so now we're just left with this clamp down here. I'm gonna try to get a, a screwdriver in there and just kind of pop that off. Now you're ready to pop the new burner back in and you're basically just doing everything in reverse. Get the clamp on, okay. I'm gonna feed it back through there. Put the bracket back on top and end by reinserting the two cotter pins. So I've reconnected the gas line. I'm just gonna give it a quick test here. Turn her on, look at that. All right, we're good to go. Now I just need to replace the flavorizer bar. Slide the grate back into place. That's it. If it is time for a new gas grill, look for one with a generous warranty. Many of the top picks in our ratings cover the burners for 10 years.